I'm starting this over again here. It's January 28th, 2024. The hen has moved on. Paul's starting to make his, his uh, charcoal here, showing us some process. He self-made these ovens. Uh, last year, we bought all these bricks. Wasn't sure what he was going to do with them, and he's since put together these ovens. And he's been using them to make charcoal. Making charcoal here in Thailand is a pretty common thing. Um, you don't really see bags of briquettes type charcoal that we would normally see in the West, in the States, I guess. Here they make their own charcoal, and it can be purchased from people who make it, you know, on the streets and in the market, so to speak. And he's got a process to put this together, and he's asked to share it. So we're going to show a little of this. I haven't watched it myself. I have seen the charcoal, and it burns quite readily, I have to say. He's quite happy with this. That hen you hear in the background is the hen that just got dislodged here from the little ones that are now walking around on their own. two of these here. And we use mud to seal it. I guess that works. Got it all prepared. pretty early right now. It's only 10 minutes after 8 in the morning on a Sunday morning here. I have no idea how you get the wood in there. Unless he's already got stuff in. I'm not sure how he loaded these. So he must already have the wood in here. This is the hen that got displaced. Our little ones are in that pile. I see our neighbor over here is working on the rubber farm. I just work rubber farms where they collect the rubber every day, a sap, if you will. They work pretty hard. They got to come out every damn day for the most part and collect uh, rubber. So what's the type of wood that's in there? I'm guessing it's this. And I understand he's gonna leave this lid all day. And 
and at around six o'clock tonight, I guess they turn it off. So it runs proofs of the day. See what we got going here in terms of making a fire. Yeah, it's pretty smoky. Got sand on top of this, I guess, to help keep the heat in. What is this? Oh, another one. We found another chick. And the chick is back home to roost. All the chicks have been found. <laughs> Maybe I have to start learning how to edit here because usually I'm one take. So we got a long process going on here, I think. And we'll come back and figure out the next steps here. I don't know if he's lighting the other one up too or not. I'm guessing not. See what's going on. And I guess it's kind of a hurry up and wait thing now. Oh. So he's got a lot of this small. He's got a lot of this small. Call them twigs. And I guess we'll let this process go on as he makes the fire. And we'll come back later today. Siri's not here with me right now. So I don't have any interpreter. I struggle.
I suspect he has some of these big logs laid out on the top up there. And we'll go with that. Lots of smoke. I don't know how big a roaring fire we end up with here. So what do you use to make the charcoal? Are, are like these laid out in the top up here underneath? Yeah, and, that, and then, so he's using, he's using these to make the charcoal and they're laid out on the upper part apparently up here. Can I see inside this one? No. No? Next. He's going to show us here. He said there's a grate. There's a grate in here. And I guess that's what he stacks. These big logs get stacked up in here. Yeah, so these so these big logs get stacked up in, in here. And then he's lighting the fire up underneath them. And this is the insulator. That's good. And he self-made these himself. We bought all these bricks, brought them home in the truck, I don't know, sometime last year. And uh, he's retired for lots of years now. So he putters around, doing his thing, take care of the farm. And uh, he's been living here for, uh, I don't know, 45 years, something like that. I forgot the exact date, but he's the guy that planted most of the stuff around here. He planted all of these palm trees. It's about everything around here he planted, it seems like. So this is good. And we'll do a break here and then see if we can come back in and figure out what's going on rather than hold you folks. All right, thanks for joining us.